This area is off limits. Hide here until you can get out without being seen. Thanks be to Amun, you came along by it. Hide right here. By the grace of Amun. That's all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Great Sphinx. It is smaller than I expected. A hidden entrance. How long has this been here? Hmm? Ah. 
Dead end. Does not make sense. Or well, there must be a way forward. For your sweetheart? No, thank you. Why do you speak a curse under your breath? The magician who sold it to me said I must recite it 200 times a day. Since I cannot recite while I sleep, I do it while I work. Though it is hard to get any baking done without my taster. What happened to your taster? Gods bless the regime. They arrested him for not paying the tax on spices. And now I am out of cinnamon. Looks like you need more than a magician. The regime presses even a poor baker so hard. Helping her would be a strike against Ptolemy, however small. And her bread smells delicious. If a man were to rescue my taster, I would give him all the bread he could hold. <laughs> Yeah, looking for. Yeah. 
Teta, the baker, asked me to bring you to her. Beautiful Teta. Now I can see her face again before I die. I am weak with hunger and with love. Will you carry me to Teta? If I must. <laughs> Can you walk? I am too weak even to stand. Really? Huh? My strength comes from the beautiful Teta. Does she know you feel this way about her? I have not yet been brave enough to confess my love for her. Also, I am a wanted man. I can see that. You did not pay your taxes. It has nothing to do with taxes. I'll tell you everything when we get back to Teta. Teta, beautiful Teta. Her face is like the sun. Teta. You brought back my Teta. This man has something to tell you. Well? Teta, I love you. What? And I uncovered a plot to poison the Lady Timehotep, beloved of the High Priest. What? What? Lady Timehotep loves our cakes and bread. For five years we have delivered them to the Great Temple. But yesterday, I overheard the guard say that this week's cakes had been poisoned. Have they been delivered? I... I don't know. They'd be in the garrison if not. Then I will have to move quickly. This, this is all too much for me. Would you like to sit down? No, I need to think. Of course, love. Hush! We have served the temple faithfully for years. It makes me weep to think how we have been used. I am so glad I got the chance to explain what really happened. It feels good to have finally confessed, my love. I do not know what to make of all this. How long has Sap... I should be cautious around here. <laughs> Basket of cakes. I got here in time. Now to make sure they will not poison anyone. Another basket of cakes. 
These need to be destroyed too. I should check to see if there are any others. We're finished! Wait a minute. the last of the cakes. Tamhotep is safe now. Cursing me, but so far my liver seems fine. Uh, she sells bread, I sell fruit. There's no reason for competition. I do not know why Teta hates me so much. I found the cakes and destroyed them. Ah, oh, the Lady Tamhotep is safe. And what about you? We will go to the High Priest and tell him of this plot. He is a kind man. He will understand we meant his wife no harm. Magi, this terrible situation has brought about one good result. In this season of flooding, we will be married. Happy news! May you both prosper. I still think Amis the fruit seller is to blame somehow. May his liver putrefy. How funny! I would never have known of Sasobek's love for me if he had not been arrested. My first husband died long ago. I did not think I would marry again. I will love Teta even after our journey to the field of reeds. Fear of death gave me the courage to confess my love. I am the happiest man alive. Your limbs are lasting. You do not know corruption. Hail, pure one. May your heart be joyful, Magi. Joy is scarce while Memphis chokes on the scent of the grave. I am here to discuss Pasharemta's complaint on the informant table. Indeed. We seek a capable person to investigate this tomb. Most are too fearful of the demons within to enter. But demons would fear a priest. Why not investigate yourself? I am a vessel of the gods. I contribute through prayer. Hmm. Then I will face the demons. Pray that your faith shields me. <laughs> Ta grants you safety. Let them not remain motionless. Let them not come Let them not remain motionless. Let them not come Osiris, I am Osiris. They do not, they stand up.
I can hardly breathe. The source of this poison is closer than before. Departed. Forgive my violation of your rest. Grant that I may pass by you. An offering to chase the smell. Someone has been here recently. Someone who does not fear demons. These mummies are sound. Not the cause of the smell. What in the name of the gods is that foulness? I should trace it to its source. Mummies. They are rotted. This is a crime against the dead. Here, the flesh has decayed. But the wrappings are still intact. If the wrappings are sound, the fault lies in the embalming. Fear of demons kept the crime from being discovered. I will pay the mummification temple a visit. Guarding of temples was once a sacred duty entrusted to the Magi. Now, it falls to no one. Peace be on you. May Osiris shield your loved one's journey. I do not need your services. I'm here to inspect the temple. You are no priest. In whose name do you dare profane our grounds? In the high priest's name. Prove this by messenger if you wish. Ah, yes. Poor Pasheremta. The curse weighs heavy on us all. I have had two embalmers run off since it began. Her only untrained laborers are free to take their place. Such coarse fellows. I hope to discharge them soon. I look forward to meeting them. If you are here in the high priest's name, you must be a man of power. The God saves me. I am he who comes forth as one who breaks through the door. I know the deep water is in my name. Behold the Lord and his flood. See the shoulder is fastened on his neck and the haunch upon the head of the west. Offerings which the two goddesses of the west present to me when the weeping bursts forth from me at what I witness, as I am born round on the seventh feast day in Abydos, and the bolts on the gateways above you are in reach of your hand. Behold the Lord and his flood. Hail in peace. I wish to... See, the shoulder is... The shoulder is... Fastened upon his neck. Do you have a mo Your face... Your face is that of a hound whose nostril sniffs at the covert to which my feet convey me. That is a little unfair. Un I have never seen eye to eye with priests. I know this is my bearer, for he who loves me to rest is the god in lion form. Is this salt you are working with? Uh, not salt. Natron. It dries out the body, and it fries my hands to shit. I have got burns all over. Although, they have been better lately. Has the Natron changed somehow? The texture has been a little off. Powdery. They must be getting it from a new supplier. If you want to talk, Natron, Menobak is the expert. If natron is used to dry the bodies, there may be something wrong with the natron. I should speak to the worker out back. Tell me more of the natron. The dead man sleeps beneath a mound of the stuff for 40 days. Then he is brushed off, washed in wine, and wrapped in linen. You can see more bodies drying in the courtyard.
Nesu, Tanate. These bodies are dried with natron? Hmm. Who might you be? A temple inspector. Right. About time you got here. Memphis has been stinking of rot for months. I suspect a problem with the natron. Where does it come from? Not far from here. Guarded by good men near the canal. Watch out for crocodiles. And lizards. Did you say lizard? It means something to you. Uh, I've heard it whispered in taverns. Rumors only. If you have nothing of substance to offer, I will be leaving. Wait. I can tell you this. Our natron is tainted. It is mixed with sand. Go to the warehouse just north of the great temple. The gods be with you. So the mummy's rotted due to the tainted natron. Let's see what is in this warehouse he mentions. Here is the warehouse. I need to be careful. Only the guilty aim to disgrace the innocent. May the gods be kind. Salt is cheap. There must be more than gold to your crime. Gold had nothing to do with it. A priest in a blue sash brought my orders. He did this to me. He threatened to do the same to my daughter. I brought foulness on this city only to protect her. I swear it. Please. Help me, and I will end this. Here. I kept it. Take it. I'll send this writer to the devourer. The seal of Anubis. A priest sabotaged the natron. The letter mentions a bandit cave. I will go clear out this viper's nest once and for all. Sand. They have mixed it with the natron. Sleep peacefully now.
Get away, Kirk! Accept me as a traveling companion? I will take a new title. How about Tutmose the Fearsome? I travel alone. Oh, of course. Have you heard about the palace? Crocodiles swarm its halls. Terrible. So many deaths. I am hired to slaughter the beasts, but someone is pouring blood into the water to frenzy them. And you want my help? Oh, yes, yes. You will shrug off a crocodile's jaws as most men would a gnat's. Kill crocodiles near the palace and I will award you half my fee. What do you say, Magi? I am good at killing crocodiles. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Magi the mighty, Magi the majestic, Magi the... Mm, never mind. There is a hidden cave near the city's northern limit. Meet me there tonight. What? Cave rhymes with brave. Miss that one. God himself would cause less chaos. They are far more aggressive than usual. of dead crocodiles should be high enough to please Tut Mose. Bye. Hello, hello. Come back later when the sky is dark. Magi! Oh, I am struck dumb with fear by what I 
see before me. The palace grounds are choked with Sobek's dead. Did you see? In the pool, human body parts used to lure the crocodiles. Oh, what horror! But why? Oh, who knows why evildoers do evil? I came just in time to see two people loading bodies onto boats and riding away. I will put a stop to this mischief. Of course you will. And as your loyal companion, I will point you toward the mischief makers. One went toward the palace and the other was headed for the mummification temple. Here is half my pay, as promised. I will meet you back at my boat. The Magi, in vengeance and terror, chase down the vile seafarers. Hmm. That is not quite right. into the river to attract the crocodiles. children will be more peaceful now. you run, the worse it will go between us. Who's here, Richard? Hey, 
<laughs> a magi should be quicker than you. How can a child so small run so fast? What do you bring us today, Gutter Snipe? An apple. An apple? Boy, get back out there and find us something hotter. A few apples aren't worth the cost of keeping you. Should we have Mistress Gaia deal with him? No, no! We will decide what to do what? with you later. Oh. Hey, wait! Hey. Gaia! Did you bring me here to get rid of these bandits? Sure did. I'm extremely smart. Everyone says so. How did a smart boy like you get tricked into working for bandits? I don't work for them. This mean old lady locked up a bunch of us kids. She makes us steal for her. Locked up? Yeah. My sister was going to save us. And she said to meet her in the shipyard by the river. But she never came. Will you look for her? I'll steal you an apple. <laughs> hey, you don't need to buy my help. It is yours for free. What is your sister's name? Kawit. And mine's Ifri. If you find Kawit, tell her I'm mad at her. Yeah, yeah. No. Did you find my sister? Not yet. Oh. <laughs> no. That ship will not sail anytime soon. The ship was dry docked when it caught fire. Traces of oil. Hmm. Ah. An oil seller. He may have seen Kawit. You break my boats, I break your face. There's the mast from the burnt ship. Colorful sail. Unusual. They kept the children caged. Keep your distance, or I'll break your face. Easy now. Did you see a young girl around the shipyard yesterday? I see lots of girls. Most not worth looking at twice. They would likely say the same of you. If it is information you want, you have just tripled its price. I'd rather throw my coin pouch in the river. There must be another way to make him talk. I will tell you about the girl. Just do not break anything else. By the limbs of Osiris, you are a cruel man. What happened with the girl? I looked at her twice. The second time, she was stealing my biggest jar of oil. She vanished like a demon in daylight. When I came back, the ruffians were destroying my stock! May the lot of you sink to the bottom of the Nile. I think I understand what happened here. Gawit stole an oil jar from that oaf of a merchant, then hid until nightfall. Under cover of darkness, she spread oil on the ship and set it aflame. The blaze spread to the whole vessel. While the ship burned, Kawit freed the children held on the docks, but the bandits must have caught her. Whoever owns this ship was responsible for the kidnappings.
child hiding. And there's that colorful sail. Hey! Hey, hang on! This place is heavily guarded. Hey, what the? And you die! Brother sent me here. Where is Kawit? They took her and everyone else to a house in the city. Some rich lady named Gaia owns it. It's by the temple of Hafo. Will you save my family? By the mother goddess, I will. Will you save my family? By the mother goddess, I will. Hey, hold on! Hang on. Do not have the key to your cell. Then go get it from one of those sunstruck cows of bandits! Did Nessem knew? No, young Ifli did. Where is he? What do you mean? I followed you the whole way. Take Matia home. Go. <laughs> Why don't you go with them? I'm going to track down that Roman bitch who did this to my family. <laughs> if you want to help me kill her, meet me at the house of Neff. <laughs> 